Hey guys, Mrs. Cates here. We're going to be filling out this foldable today. So if you will please uh, follow what I'm doing on your screen. So first of all, you're going to need a pair of scissors and uh, something to write with. So make sure you have those items out. So you're going to take your foldable and you're going to fold on the solid bolded line. So just like this, you're going to make one fold here and then another fold here and then you're going to open it back up and you're just going to make two small cuts along the dotted lines make sure you don't go too far So your foldable should look like this with four different flaps. So let's go ahead and label these flaps before we get started. This first one in the top left is going to be standard form. And then we're going to have word form. expanded form and then expanded notation remember you can pause the video whenever you need to so uh, feel free to do that all right let's um, go ahead and open up our foldable Sorry about my markers bleeding through. Okay, so on our place value chart, um, I want you to go ahead and fill in all of your um, periods and the names of each place value. And um, you can go ahead and watch me do this and then pause it and do it on your own. Remember, when you get into the decimal place value, you're going to add the THS at the end of each. So tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. That's very important that you make sure you have that. Okay, so we're going to give ourselves a number here to work with. So we are going to work with the number 437 billion. 892,051,003 and 429 thousandths. Okay, so let's fill in each part of our foldable. So remember, you have standard for standard form, word form, expanded form, and expanded notation. Okay, so let's start with standard form. And standard form is just the regular way that you write your number. Nothing fancy. So we're going to relook at our number here and just uh, transfer it over. So we have again 437 billion 892 million 51 thousand three and four hundred twenty nine thousandths so try to squeeze it in there as best as you can so that's our standard form again so looking at word form <coughs> we're going to write this using words so we have four hundred thirty seven billion comma eight hundred ninety two million Fifty one thousand three 
3, and, don't forget the and, 4, hundred twenty nine thousandths THS hopefully you had more room than I did okay there we are with our word form okay so expanded form you're going to want to leave a lot of space on this for expanded form. So let's go ahead and look. We're going to start with um, our biggest place value in the billions. So we are going to start with 400 billion plus 30 billion. plus 7 billion plus 800 million lots of zeros <coughs> plus 90 million who thinks I'm going to run out of room? <laughs> okay, plus two million. Plus 50,000. Plus 1,000. Plus three. Plus four-tenths, ah. hold on, let me move that, we'll do it over here, plus four-tenths, plus two-hundredths, plus nine-thousandths. All right. That is our expanded form, which should look familiar to you. Let's go ahead and move on to expanded notation, which is similar to expanded form, but it's technically, I would say, just expanded form expanded even farther. So let's look at expanded notation really fast. Um, starting with, I'm going to have my expanded form opened up as well so we can look at that. We're going to start with what is in the hundred billions place which is 400 billion but we're going to expand that out even farther and it's going to look like this four times 100 billion okay so expanding it out like that and then we're going to add I'm going to run out of room again three times 10 billion, since our three is in the 10 billions place value. Close parentheses. Our next number is in the um, billions place, the one billions place value, so we're just going to do seven times one billion. Our next number is in the hundred millions. So this is going to be eight times one hundred million. Next is going to be nine times ten million. Two times one million.
five times <clears throat> 10,000, since our five is in the 10,000s place value. The one is in our 1,000s place value, but we're still gonna do one times 1,000, even though it equals itself. We still wanna expand it out. Plus, the three is in the ones place, so we're just gonna do again three times one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so when we do this as a decimal, in the decimals place, we can either do expanded notation as a decimal or a fraction. I'm gonna show you as a fraction, since we did decimals up in expanded form. So our four in the tenths place, um, we're going to represent that as four times one tenth, which is going to look like this: four times one tenth. Now you know that you can also write one tenth as a decimal, so you can see it written either way. My two is in the hundredths place, so this is going to be two times one hundredth, and then. The nine is in the thousandths place, which is gonna be nine times one thousand. One over a thousand. That was just enough room. Okay, so here's what your foldable should look like overall. Hopefully you have enough space. Let's go ahead and fill out um, the fill in the blanks here. Okay, so this says in our blank system, the blank of a digit depends on its blank or blank. So go ahead and think about what you would put in those blanks for just a second. Okay, so what we're gonna have is in our number system, the value of a digit depends on its place or position, which basically means wherever the number is located in the place value chart, the value depends on where it is located. So that's why we need to be sure we know each of these labels and where they're located so that we know the value of each of our digits. That's it.